this lesson we are going to look into how we can model this kind of chandelier model using splines and some modifiers so let's get started on the top view under create geometry standard primitives use tubes and we're going to draw out the basic shape of our chandelier using one height segments one cap segments and 18 sides and we are going to make it a little bit smaller and add an edit poly modifier pressing 2 on the keyboard and selecting all these edges and we're going to shift click on connect and select two segments and push them to the sides and select this uh, edge and on the bottom holding control this edge click on ring and under loops again shift click on connect and push them in a little bit let me change the color to see it better and now and when we apply tube smooth modifier with two iterations and isolating display on we can see we get this nice looking uh, base for our chandelier I'm just going to put it aside the reference image and on the top view I'm going to right click on select and move and right click on these arrows so they so the base is perfectly centered with the grid that I turned on pressing G on the keyboard and on in the front view pressing F on the keyboard uh, and pressing Z to center the selected uh, object now going under create shape splines line I'm going to draw out a silhouette of the side element of this chandelier I'm going to click and drag to create a Bezier point and then right click to end the creation mode uh, and then I'm going under rendering click on re enable in renderer and enable in viewport and select rectangular and set some settings that are uh, going to work with your model so now I'm going to go to the top view and as we can see because we select with we created uh, the base and position it in the in the middle of the grid and after we were uh, creating this line in the front view it is perfectly uh, centered as it should be in our case so now we are going to realign under hierarchy affect pivot only and pressing alt a and clicking on the base we're going to realign the pivot just click on ok and click on affect pivot only to deselect it and go under tools array and we're going to rotate it 360 degrees in y position we're going to select instances and we're going to create six of them so we're going to click on preview and click on OK now we have uh, five more elements created for our model and the best part of this is that we can always go back and do some changes to our base model and all the changes are going to affect um, all the instances created we can also add an edit poly modifier to it and select two by pressing two on the keyboard or selecting edges and just select this edge and pressing shift and clicking on the next one it's going to ring the selection and on the loops shift uh, click on connect two segments and push them to the sides and now select this edge and click on ring and again shift click on connect and reposition these edges now we're going to use swift loop tool to create some additional uh, edges so after we apply turbo smooth modifier with two iterations and 
Iceland display on the shape retains as remains as it should so because these are instances all the modifiers are also applied to them so this is great exactly what we wanted and we can always go back sometimes just push down this a little bit now in the front view we're going to add some additional uh, elements create shape splines line and going to click here and click here click and drag and click here now I can always go in and in and reposition reposition the these handles and the vertices themselves so it's going to be basically in the same uh, process as before we are going to uh, under hierarchy affect pivot only alt a on the keyboard pressing on the clicking on the base model ok affect pivot only click again under tools array 360 degrees rotate in y axis on a y axis create instances six of them and ok and voila we quickly create additional uh, elements created for our base model as we can see here we can move it a little bit inwards all the changes are going to be applied to the rest of the instances so again I did edit uh, poly modifier and selecting these edges loop shift connect two segments push them to the sides and again bring it and connect it using swift loop modifier we're going to add some additional lines and turbo smooth modifier with two iterations and isolate display on and we have our really nice beveled uh, shapes created so next thing I'm going to do is going to create this center part you could use a sphere but I I don't like using spheres because they have tri triangles in, in them and I try to uh, avoid tr using triangles so I'm going to use box on the top view I'm going to create a simple box 8 by 8 by 8 and apply a turbo smooth modifier to it with two iterations and I'm going to right click on it and convert it to editable poly and now I'm going to uh, alt A on the keyboard and click on the base shape and I'm going to click OK this way it is just to be moved downwards and maybe resize it a little bit and voila if you want to smooth it a little bit more you can apply additional turbo smooth, smooth modifier and let's move on to the next element which is going to be these candles with these handles uh, on the sides again in the front view in the front view we're going to go under create shapes splines line and let me deselect this enabling new uh, renderer and viewer and I'm just going to draw it out and let me select some different colors so it's easily seen so now we are going to click on enable in render and enable in viewport and use radial and as before we can always go back and uh, rearrange the position and the shape of our uh, handles basic shape of our element so next thing 
I'm going to go top view and I'm going to use uh, under create geometry cylinder I'm going to create a basic cylinder shape and I'm going to use one height segments and two cap segments and I'm going to go to front view and position it appropriately there we go right click on it convert to add to a poly I'm going to select all these vertices in the center and in the top view I'm going to select all these vertices and R and push them aside a little bit and select all these center polygons and pressing Alt and deselect the bottom ones and I'm going to extrude them shift extrude in the negative value let's say minus 0.7 and now we are going to click and shift click to s during selection and holding shift and click on connect two segments push them to the sides and again the same thing and here again same thing let me see how this is going to work okay we have some issues um, of low so we can add an additional uh, line here oh it looks like it didn't I didn't okay now it should work yeah and we have our basic shape for our candle holder and now we are going to go to Aguilar top view and we're going to draw out candle push it upwards the position alt A and click on it without the Z position just X and Y position and we are going to right click on it convert it to addable poly and select all these polygons holding alt deselect these ones and let me see how I should select shrink yep and push this upwards a little bit holding control and clicking on vertices we can se select the appropriate ver uh, vertices and R on the keyboard and push them out a little bit and maybe shift click on inset and insert it a little bit and then just go and shift extrude them minus let's say minus 0.7 see what happens when we apply turbo smooth modifier with two iterations we can add additional swift group modifier on the bottom I'm, go I'm going to click alt Q to isolate this uh, object and I'm going to add another swift group modifier here and here we have our basic candle created we're going to go to the front view and we're going to create shape spline line and we're just going to draw a simple line and pretty much
match it. Now this could be uh, drawn a little bit better, but you get the idea what uh, which uh, techniques are used. And now we're going to select all of these elements and group them together. It doesn't matter how it's uh, named. And under hierarchy, affect pivot only, Alt A on the keyboard, and again click on the basic shape on the X and Y position. And again on affect pivot only to deselect it, and under tools, array, 360 degrees on the Y position, instances, six. Uh, six elements and click on OK and BAM we have our elements created instantly and uh, there are instances so everything that we uh, change on the one it's going to affect all the other ones now for the last element we're going to go to top view and we're going to use again other shapes geometry cylinder I'm going to use the cylinder again with uh, one height segments and two cap segments and let's make it a little bit bigger so it fits in and select a blue color and on the top view I'm going to right click on it and convert it to editable poly and selecting these polygons and in the front view and alt and deselect the bottom polygons in going to polygons extrude and extrude them upwards and we get our basic handle created and we can apply some additional edges with shift connect and two segments and push them to the sides and this ring and again shift connect push them to the sides and the same for this one well shift connect and push them to the sides let me see on the bottom we can use swift plot modifier and click it and now when we apply turbo smooth modifier with two iteration isolate display on we get these nice beveled edges that we can still fix here a little bit more it's not going to make my life easier so we're going to insert it a little bit and apply turbo smooth modifier yeah it works and this is pretty much it we created a chandelier with splines and the main thing it is that we can always go back and re, uh, reposition the vertices and it will apply to the all the instances and we get easily get a different shape if we want to. So that's it for this lesson.